Hello, this is H.G.B. Lee, and welcome back to Let's Play Rhapsody, a musical adventure. Let's go put that new holy charm to use. Want to give it to Cornette there, because her spells cost a lot. And let's see, let's just give the old cat's paw to El Coon there, and then bring him up in the party order now that he's more reasonably leveled there. And let's see. So yeah, you see Thunder Punch only costs 25 SP now instead of 50. So that's pretty nice. Let's see. Yeah, let's heal up after those little battles we had there and try to find out what's going on. And by the way, if you go to the bathroom area here to try and find the treasure, now that we have access to the area, yeah, you can't find it if you didn't get it before. And you can't leave through the tunnel access there, so... Yeah, we're gonna have to see what else we can do. Okay, let's, uh, well, you know what? Let's, uh, delay this battle a little bit. I could win the battle with just, like, Holy and then the other two attacking the two Nightmares there. But, uh, let me see. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so, yeah, at this point in the game, Etoile is a guest party member at the end of a round. She'll attack or do something, whatever. In the PS1 version, uh, she would be on the battlefield entirely, not just popping out of nowhere like that. But you wouldn't have direct control over her. She just acts automatically. Good, good. Man, where did all these monsters come from? Oh, the minister or something? I don't know, I didn't... What war? I don't know. Let's see, yeah, to advance the plot, just get into the throne room there. Ha ha ha! Oh, well that might be true. <laughs> I knew it, I'm surrounded by assholes. Now, I don't know how you're suppo supposed to pronounce her name. I would, at first glance, I would say Crowdia, but since she has wings and a crow with her all the time, maybe it's just Crodia. I don't know. And uh, the middle one there is Gao, by the way. So you might remember their names from Disgaea with some of the equipment related to these guys. Hey, how's it going? Well, yeah, she was trying to murder an innocent civilian. Nope, sorry, uh, get out of here. Pick up your bags and go home. Oh, or not. Hmm? What just happened there? Game? Oh, well, yeah, that might be. Oh, no. Now. <laughs> Again? <laughs> well, at least she's might not want to kill him now? Uh... Okay, never mind then. Well, he's already taken, lady. What are you going to do? Oh. Nuts. <laughs> I love the look on her face there. <laughs> really? 
You're a witch! How could you screw up something like that? Uh, evidently... But he's already at the castle. We're in the castle. Oh. Uh, well, that would be you. Yeah, for some reason, they don't have any singing during that little bit of dialogue in Japanese or the DS version. So, yeah, I thought I'd just show you how they handled that in the PS1 version there. Yeah, I mean, you're a witch! For boss time! against the Marjorie family, minus her. So, let's see, Crodia is the fastest one of the three, so I want to take her out as quickly as possible. Jesus Christ! Yeah, we're... we're not winning this one. Else. Yeah, you can't even hit any of them. Even with magic, it seems really odd. What happened to all those rocket launchers you had? Nuts. Well, that didn't go as planned. Well, I do now! Oh, well, yeah, she probably is. <laughs> oh. Well, if you could just teleport out of here, what did you need the dragon ship thing, whatever that was you flew in here on? Well. Guess they really don't get to live happily ever after, huh? Oh, okay, uh, good, good. Oh, or not. Nah. No, nah, that, that really did happen, viewers. As ridiculous as it was, it, it happened. Getting up for the morning? To do what? Well, gotta answer the call. Well, someone's gotta save him. Oh, well, that that is definitely true. How hard could it possibly be in the DS version of the game? <laughs> Why did the music change all of a sudden? Game? Oh, well, yeah, that much is obvious. Otherwise, the game would be over right now. Yeah, we've still got a long way to go to get to the end of the game. Yeah, the first couple hours are, you know, just the... What is it? The prologue. Well, I suppose we did have a prologue, but you know what I mean. Now we're going to get into the real meat of the game. Well, not today, but soon. Oh, you overheard us? How did you do that? Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, okay. Sure, why not? 
I didn't really see a port there. Wasn't there a lady who said her husband runs a ship or is captain of a ship or something like that? I thought there was an NPC who said something about that. But all right. Well, you didn't do a good job when we were at the castle. But all right, let's see, I think, what is it, does he say anything new? Oh, no, just basically the same thing he said before. Okay, never mind, just a reminder. But all right, let's see, what do we got here? Well, at least he'll still be 18 when we find him. Well, yeah, he's rock hard now. Ah, well, why didn't anyone tell us about them? Let's see, not everyone has something new to say, but I'll talk to a bunch of them at least. Oh, um, well, maybe you should get yourself kidnapped by her. That's... Oh, really? She didn't look that old to me. Holy cow! I wouldn't worry about her, though, and all this talk about ancients and everything like that. Oh. Well, maybe. Well, yeah, you don't want to draw attention to yourself. I try to stay as unimportant as possible in my life. In real life, I mean. Oh, yeah. You might remember there was a letter from someone named Pullen. I think that was the name of the guy he was talking about. That's how uh, Mustaki knew him. But, yeah. I want to buy five teleporters. We're not going to be buying any more cat's paws or accessories for quite some time, actually. The thing is, with accessories, like Cat's Paw, and there's the Dragon's Claw, or Genius Caps, or whatever, the Tier 1 accessories are reasonably priced. There's a Tier 2 version, which is a little stronger than that, but they cost way more money and totally not worth it. And the Tier 3 ones are obscenely powerful, and those are the ones that I will be getting eventually, but it will be a while before we can do that. So, yeah, I usually like to buy five teleporters and then keep up stock on them periodically. But yeah, dungeons are going to get much longer at this point in the game. Let's see. Uh, oh. Okay. At least you only got one room in the house to clean up every now and then. Oh, well, diet and exercise, I guess. Hey, how's it going? What do you mean? Ah, nice. No, I'm afraid not. You're screwed. I got other people to take care of. Yes. So yeah, in order to advance the plot, you have to talk to a captain here and help him out with her, his daughter's relationship problems, I guess. Hmm, <laughs> Battleship. That was a fun game. How did you know I was going to be looking for them? And by the way, at this point in the game, Pretty much every area you've been to has new enemies around. Oh, good for you guys. Glad to see you made it here from the PS1 version of the game. 
I wasn't sure if that was who I saw in the PS1 version there, the lady from Orange Village, but you would never know it only playing this version of the game. Not that there's any significance to her at all, it's you know, just a nice little detail there, I like that. But yeah, I was thinking it was her though. Uh, well, I think the prince getting kidnapped is a bigger problem than that. Well, he's a statue. I... I don't want... I don't want to know. Thanks. Yeah, pretty much. Let's see, not everyone here says something new or, yeah, the same thing as before. Oh, really? Huh. Well, remember that for later, viewers. That's a little bit of an important detail coming up here. Oh, ah, well, maybe I'll look out for the guy. Well, the more help we can get, the better, I suppose. Well, let's check out what's going on up here at the castle. Where is she, anyway? Oh. Well, someone's got to organize everything. Oh. Well, someone's got to do that, too. And they might come back. Oh, well, yeah, that is true. Oh. Uh. Oh, so he's not around anymore? How would he be taking advantage of it if he's missing? How does it even work? Oh, really? Hmm. Well, remember that for later, viewers. Now, let's see what's going on at the scene of the crime. Well, it looks like they kind of patched up the wall there or something. Yeah, really. It's letting light and air into the room and everything. Well, can we pay a visit to the queen? No, the guard is still in the way there for some reason. Well, someone's got to do it. Oh, thanks. Thanks for nothing, pal. Yeah, maybe. But, uh, well, not yet. Hey, how's it going? Oh, okay. Uh, never mind, then. But can we find a toad to cook for the captain's daughter? Find out next time on Let's Play Rhapsody, a musical adventure. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!